My name is Mace Omar. I am from uh, I am from Amman, Jordan. It's in the Middle East. Um, I am a 23 years old, um, and I'm graduating this semester. Hi, my name is Shadi Omar. Uh, I'm an Egyptian American from East Lansing, Michigan. I grew up with an Egyptian family, Egyptian culture. You know, celebrating Ramadan, Eid, all the holidays. You know, and growing up as a Muslim in America, uh, it's good, but it can be tough at times. But the only way to really get through any tough times with that is just to talk about it and like to educate people on what being a Muslim really is. So Maze, what was it like growing up in a Muslim family? Like, how was your experience as a little kid? It was. I feel lucky to be growing up in a Muslim family, honestly, I have never been open about it, like if I'm lucky or not, but in a Muslim family was such a good thing because um, aside from my manners and values, all of these developed and um, my family are not religious, but my society is and um, even though I don't have to wear a scarf, um, I still fast in Ramadan, uh, we still pray sometimes. Um, it's such a good feeling that even if my family are not religious, they are supporting my decisions. If I want to pray, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't mind. But if, if, like, if I want to wear a scarf, they wouldn't mind either. So it's, it's a complete free of choice for me. Growing up as a Muslim was, for the most part, like pretty normal. Like I still played with my friends the same way and like live normally and I guess just because like I grew up my my parents are both Egyptian so mm -hmm. they really wanted to maintain the Egyptian and the Arab culture within the house so when I grew up I grew up speaking Arabic fully mm -hmm. not English at all till I went into school when I was four so like I didn't really know anything different than what I like grew up doing until like I got into school and then I saw there was like you know different real like Christianity and different religions, but like in the end, it's the same except for like our certain certain values and beliefs. Like the holiday we celebrate Ramadan, and that was all like a huge shock for other kids at school. It's like, oh, how are you fasting? How are you not eating or drinking water? Especially when you're younger at that age, it's like hard for other people to take in like why we do what we do, but. It's all it's all for peace. That's what that's the main thing. And I learned that and then my friends started to learn about it and then other people. So it was it was it was good. You know, there was a shooting recently in New Zealand and it just really shook a lot of the world and what happened. How was your reaction or how was the reaction of your family with that situation? Oh, my initial reaction, I was I was sad, I was angry, I was disappointed at like that someone at the guy that could do this or whatever group he was a part of but my family was outraged all like the whole Muslim community was like I woke up to seeing opening up on Twitter and seeing a video 30 second clip of this guy coming in and shooting up mosque kids adults it didn't matter who like point blank just shooting a little kid so it was just like I I like couldn't handle it and I like talk to my parents about it I like obviously just like everyone else like I wanted to like instantly like oh get this video out like try to show it but like that isn't the right thing to do you're not supposed to promote that kind of stuff because that's what he wants or any type of extremist like or people against Islam they want people to view it as like bad and his goal was to start the shooting to hopefully start more shootings against Islam the good thing about this, like a lot of people in New Zealand, like converted to Islam after that because they learned about the religion. They saw that it's peaceful and it doesn't promote violence. And like, I'm I'm still shocked about it because Muslims won't go out out of their way to like start problems. You never see like protests for Muslims against white people. It doesn't happen. Is like it just promotes peace. Islam is Islam means peace. So. So what was your reaction when you heard about the massacre in New Zealand? My heart is still breaking for these people. Um, it's, it's, such, it's such a heartbreaking thing. 
because it happened from the most unexpected person when you think that these people they were supposed to be safe when where they were going to pray and where they were going to just be closer to God and then someone had the shooting it was I mean I couldn't think of anything more terrible of that I'm seeing all of ISIS around the world I'm seeing um, people are killing themselves I'm seeing children in Palestine dying and I'm seeing a lot of humans are dying from hunger and everything and all these reasons and then I saw the mass shooting I was in shock I I completely forgot what was happening around me but then I was like well this life is unfair in this heartbreaking incident you know we realized that there's so much prejudice and hatred in the world and you know do you see those ideas reflected in the U.S.? Or like, how do you feel about how the U.S. sees Muslim society and the religion? What do you think about that? And so from my experience living here, a lot of people, when they ask me, what's your religion? I would just step back and not answer. But now I am more like, I want you to know that I am Muslim. I am not a terrorist, like your media is telling you. I am not killing, I'm not gonna go kill people because actually now what happened is a person who's not non-Muslim killed us. So that would even, it's even more terrible to feel and see that what your media is telling you is now turning out the exact opposite because he's not a Muslim and then boom, he killed a lot of Muslims. It's just imagining the whole Muslims as their terrorists and as they do not deserve to be here in this world while there are a lot of good people in here as there's like bad Christians there are tons of good Christians and there's bad Hindus there's tons of good Hindus it just didn't really depend on the religion it just depends on how you were treated what your society taught you and how you see the world and how kind you are to others like even if you saw what happened in New Zealand and you didn't feel bad, like what kind of human are you? Like people are like, we're killed because none reason, like because of hate. So how did that situation kind of reflect on the culture of the United States and the way that we view Islam and our society? Like did you see any correlation between the two? The main thing that I noticed and I was not necessarily surprised about, but like, it was like, kind of like, wow, like a lot of people, especially like my teammates around here, like they were shocked and they were in support of me and saying like, oh, like this is like, this shouldn't happen. And like, there's a, like, a, there's a lot of good amount of people that even on the internet that were like, this isn't the right thing to do. But then there's also like that section of people that are negative and they're saying like, oh, they deserve this. This should happen to all Muslims. And that's like the negativity that should be removed from this world, but there's always going to be negativity. It's not a perfect world. So personally for me, if someone's like ripping on Islam, I'm not going to be violent with him. I'm just going to explain to them and be like, you realize, like just talk about the religion and talk about our values and there's nothing that promotes violence. So I'll just show them that in a peaceful way and like hopefully they understand. So do you feel since you've been at Eastern that have you been safe here? Do you feel welcomed here? Like, how do you feel on campus? And if there was anything you could change, what would you change? So I felt safe because I did not tell anyone my religious. Like people would tell me what does my necklace mean? And I would just tell them, well, it's actually something from my holy book and then it's the name of God. And then I would just tell them, I'm just hiding my necklace all the time basically because I don't want people to ask me about it. Um, because I'm afraid of rejection here. I'm afraid of people telling me, oh, you're Muslim, okay, step back. But since coming to Eastern, it's just like an assumption. If I'm not wearing a scarf, then I'm not a Muslim. No, excuse me. Like, if, like, I can be a Muslim without wearing a scarf. I can be a Muslim if I pray or not. It's just my religious between me and God. But then, since coming to Eastern, one of the main reasons that I didn't fast here is because I, there's not a community that supports like these people that they fast like in my in in our Eid which is like Christmas but Eid for us I I I was in class last year and 
it's it wasn't a holiday for me it's not that i'm asking for a holiday but i'm asking i i do have the right to celebrate this and i was in class when i told my professor he was like oh, okay like just give me a reaction like just tell me yeah you're supposed to be with your family but you're he, i just was like okay but if that was another holiday for and on Muslims, they would be like, what are you doing here? Like, hey, like, I don't know, like, Merry Christmas. Or like, well, like you know what I mean? And then it's just the people around me. It's not supporting. And they are not more open about those religions. Not all Eastern, but what I've seen is like most of the people here. They're just, and it breaks my heart. It, it makes me want to go to a bigger city where I would have more respect, where I would have more people who would just sit with me and discuss these issues and discuss what I'm going through in Eastern or like in being away from my family. Um, you talked about any kind of negativity. Have you ever felt that on Eastern's campus or do you feel like it's been a pretty good environment and if there were things you could change, what would you change? Um, I mean, on campus here, I haven't really like experienced negativity towards my religion per se, but there's there's still like, you know, even just walking around, you see some people, like, if there's like a Muslim woman, there's not that many Muslims around here, but you see Muslim women walking around with their hijab, you see like, I walk around and I like, I notice things and I like turn over and I see them like turn, like quick little peek and then they see like the hijab and then they say something, but like, you just understand and say they had this how, that's how she lives, this like a normal thing, it's not a bad thing. And yeah, but like another thing that I think should, really should be changed there should be like not necessarily Muslim groups but like at least like a mosque here because like my whole life every city that I go to there's a mosque somewhere to pray our Friday prayers in it's like what a church would be for Christians or Catholics but um there's no mosque here I was surprised when I came I talked to one of the professors here too is Egyptian just like me and uh, we were talking he's like yeah there's no mosque here we just kind of like gather somewhere for our Friday prayers and I think that's one one thing that Eastern really should look into because it, it would be good, especially for the Muslim community here, attract more Muslims to come here and see that there's a lot of support for the Islamic community. When I messaged you about this project, you were very excited because you feel like something like this is important and that it needs to be shared. Um, why is getting the testimonials from Muslims an important thing for Americans to see like I wish of these videos that Would go everywhere and in Eastern and people can see it just because I want more people to know more that we are not all Bad people. There's like good people in us and please see us. Please respect us I want Eastern to have a community where all the religious are welcome and not all and it's not only a Christian, a Christian campus. It, we do not only celebrate Christmas here. We celebrate Hindus. We celebrate Muslims. We celebrate all the religious here.